Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna kick my uh, caulking gun. I've got this little handy thing. Punch it, cut my tip off of here. Uh, take this and uh, puncture a couple of times the um, membrane that is protecting this. Now my silicone is ready to go. I'm gonna add some dish soap to this water. It doesn't need to be a lot. Um, and we're not trying to make it foamy. We just want to get that slippery. Um, yeah. The water should be not hot, not cold, just basically kind of room temperature um, or cooler, slightly cooler than that. I'm gonna always squeeze this underneath the surface of the water you see that noodle coming out there. Squeezing that, and then I break it off, right? And now we're gonna collect it very gently. We sometimes can give it a second or two to start, like I said, what's happening, the surface is curing under the water because of the water. So we can give it a second to do that if we want. Now I'm gonna take that all those noodles and start to collect them into a little ball like this. Now, if you get any of this on your hands at all, you have to perfectly, like I got a little bit stuck, you have to clean your hands because the silicone won't stick to anything except for itself. So you have to thoroughly clean any of that off. That's why I have this little thing here. Thoroughly clean any of that off because otherwise it'll just continue to stick. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet this a little bit. And I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna make this into a little, little noodle here. I can make it into a little patty too, uh, but I like doing it in strips. And then I'm gonna take that. And what you're trying to do is pat it. You're gonna keep wetting your hands so that it, they don't get wet. Um, so they don't get sticky. Any of that stuff that sticks on you, you gotta get it off immediately, otherwise it'll keep sticking. I'm using the clearness of the silicone to be able to judge how thick to make this. And my goal is to push any air out as I move along. So what I'm trying to do is push any air out and then when I get to the end of the noodle, where I think it's gonna be pretty thin, what I'm gonna do is then push the edge of the silicone down into this really, really thin edge. That's gonna me make it so that when I put another one and overlap it, which you'll see me do here in a second, that there won't be too much of a noticeable edge. I do that all the way around and I keep having to wet my hands so that they don't stick to the silicone. But like I said, by, silicone is a really weird material. It's unlike most glues that need dry and heat. Silicone needs cool and damp. It cures actually from the moisture in the air. So by squeezing it underwater, and I'm sitting right next to this thing and I can tell you there's almost no smell at all of silicone. You see though why I need my pie tin. It's really collecting a lot of water. So now I've got that really, really thin edge. I've got another little noodle. And again, you gotta keep your hands wet while you're doing this. I've got another little noodle and I'm just gonna start it right on the edge and overlap. So these are kind of overlapping like scales, I guess you could say. Um, and again, I'm pushing it, kind of rolling it over the surface and trying to push any air out in front of it. And I'm trying to go for an even thickness. Anytime I feel it start to stick with my fingers, I really keep my hands wet. That's why I have this pie tin and this, this uh, towel to catch all the extra water. Going for an even coating and anywhere where it's getting thin, like really, or get it running out along that edge, I will thin it out so that the next layer will overlap and there'll be very little seams. Um, when I'm making this, 
you have to pretend as if you're you know you're picking up i don't know like a little goldfish or a baby bird or something out of that um out of that bucket of water if it's if you're too rough with it it will stick to your hands and once it starts to stick that's it you're not you're done you're just going to keep sticking and you end up with this giant mess Okay, so now that we've got it pretty much covered all the way around, what we need to think about now is where the um, parting line is going to go. We're going to make a two-part mother mold to hold all this together because otherwise when we cut it apart, it's going to be all flobbery. So um, you got to think about how you're going to part it. You wouldn't want a two-part mold coming apart like this. It'd, it'd be too grippy. This seems like a pretty easy way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a parting line by getting a little noodle, turning it into a little longer noodle, and we're gonna add it to make a little fin. Right where we're gonna part it. So I think through all of this stuff before I start, where's my parting line gonna be? And I wanna make it not not too lumpy, I wanna make it an actual fin uh, because this is sort of where the mother mold is gonna get clamped together to grip. I'm looking down on it to make sure that there's no undercuts on either side of this fin. That half of the mold that's going to be the mother mold will just be able to come off super easy like that. And again, I'm looking to make sure when I make this fin, as I'm pushing it along and making it, I want it to be a smooth transition into the body of the mold, no little undercuts. Anywhere where there's little bumpy undercuts or any little crevices or anything, the plaster for the mother mold will stick into that and then it's going to make it difficult to take the mold apart without ripping apart your waxes later on when you're making waxes. Like I said, you can split this stuff, but the inside's going to be gooey. And so you got to be careful that you don't get it stuck to yourself. This is always the hardest, trickiest part right down here. I'm just going to manipulate it right into the other fin. It doesn't matter if it's sitting in the water, it will rem remarkably still cure. And what this fin is for is that, so later on, when I make my plaster mother mold, it has a place to clamp together and, and lock. Those, this is where I'm gonna cut the mold so that I can peel it open and I need something to pinch on that cut so that it doesn't slide around inside the mold. So that's what the fin is gonna end up doing for us later on after we make our mother mold. But we're almost done here. One more addition. Um, and then we'll take a closer. So there you have it. That is the silicone mold. made out of caulking silicone.